this practice goes out to my dear friend Hayley. Um, she currently has a cough, an irritable cough and a cold. So what I'm going to suggest you do, Hayley, is um, get yourself some honey, turmeric and ginger. What you're going to do is mix a quarter of a teaspoon of ginger, uh, an eighth of a teaspoon of turmeric into some honey. Um, so maybe a tablespoon of honey and mix it all in. And you're going to actually lick this off the spoon. Uh, it's going to really help soothe that throat. Um, so the ginger is really good for the cough. Uh, the honey is fantastic for the throat, soothing the throat. And the turmeric works as an antiseptic. So an Ayurvedic remedy that does you wonders. So hopefully you've got those ingredients and you can do that before we go into this asana practice just to help you relieve a little bit. Now, I know that you have a singing bowl because you told me. So just to help calm and relax yourself um, after you've had that, grab your singing bowl, sitting up nice and straight. You can prop yourself up on a pillow. Um, just so that you've got your back nice and straight and so that it's not irritable. So if we look at this, or a bolster, if you have a bolster, and then just help you sit forward. So maybe put, fold the pillow over and just pop your legs down. With your singing bowl, sit there nice and quietly. Just calm the mind. Sound has a beautiful healing effect on the body. Breathe the body here. And just allow the sound to resonate with the internal cells, organs for healing. Do this for a good couple of minutes. sit here and do this for hours literally it is such a beautiful experience I'm going to leave it at that for now but definitely keep on going if you love it stop the video pause and come back to it if you want to keep on going um, what I'd like to do also is just to teach you the breath of fire um, so this is a fantastic breath for increasing the heat in the body and um, also the immune system, so helping with the immune system itself. The breath of fire is an even breath. So we inhale and exhale at an even pace. Um, whereas Kapalbhati, which I've taught you, I believe, is the emphasis on the exhalation um, so we're not going there, it is a rhythmic breath, same pace, inhale and exhale. And what it is, it's a fast breath and it comes from here. So normally when I've taught you to do your breathing, I'm telling you to inhale and breathe the belly. Forget about breathing the belly, we're not bringing all the air down into the belly, we're only bringing it to here, okay? Um, I'm still learning this. It's a very, um, a little bit confusing, sorry, not very, but can be confusing breath to learn. And only do it at your own pace, but very good to, to be doing um, for colds, coughs, different things like that to help um, rebuild and, and cleanse the body. So I take a, a, a breath in. Take the breath out, just normal to begin with, 
It's, I'm doing it very slowly. It can be a lot more emphasized than that, but my breath in and out is equal. Now, we actually have pressure points in the side of the mouth and just up here. So if you want to make the weird face that I'm going to make, it is really beneficial. So I'm going to do it and it's up to you whether or not you want to try it. So we're kind of focusing in the center here, third eye, and we're clenching the lips together so that we're creasing just in here. Keep it going for as long as you can. Take a breath, go back to it, and do it for a good couple of minutes. Okay, last thing that we're going to do before we get into the asana is give our fingers a good massage. Starting from the bottom, walk your fingers all the way up, and then walk your fingers down, each finger. And if you're quite blocked um, and you've got a head cold or whatever it may be or, or whatever's happening in the body you can feel something's happening you may feel a little tightness around the tips of the fingers um, but just walking the finger up and down I'm just going to come and show you so all I'm doing is walking up coming down walking up and coming down walking up and do this all up all the fingers and just notice always being aware and um, what, what do you feel? How's that feel? What, what's it doing? So I've got a little bit of jewelry on, probably best to take your jewelry off, but do this up and down the fingers. Is it tight at the ends? Can you get a little bit of a relief there from doing this coming up and down? We have the, the acupressure points in the tips of our fingers, so it's just a, a nice way of trying to relieve some pressure. Very beneficial for colds, for flus, for coughs. So do that a good for a good couple of minutes. Try and do it on each hand a couple of times a day is better than just once. Up and walking down. Up, walking down. Okay, now we're going to get into our asana. Okay, bring yourself down into Shavasana. Always being very mindful. Relax the back, relax the arms, relax the feet. Scan the body, how does it feel? Paying attention to how it feels. Bringing the awareness to the breath. Let any outside influences, any outside thoughts pass you by. Really concentrating on the breath. Adjust your body if need be. You can reach in slightly to chest so that you have a beautiful alignment of the spine and neck. In slightly deeper breath, and drawing it all the way right into our center. Feel the belly rise, 
As you exhale, feel the belly completely empty. Take the breath slightly deeper. Feel the tension release from the shoulders as you exhale. Allow that release from the shoulders to travel down the arms, fingers, release any tension that you're holding in the neck. Allow this to travel throughout the entire system, just all of the tension completely releasing, the body being free, just to breathe. We're going to slowly draw the feet in together. Bring the arms down by the side, place the palms onto the ground. Just earth yourself here. Draw the toes to meet one another. Pointing through the feet. Drawing belly to spine, lengthening the spine into the ground. And just slowly moving the body from side to side. Draw one shoulder down, draw one leg longer. Breathe the body and take it to the other side. Releasing any tension that we're holding in the body. And just lengthening one by one. Inhale, draw the arms up over the head. Press the back of the hands into the ground, bend through the arms, relax the toes, the feet, the ankles, and allow the legs to fall out to the side. Next inhale, draw through the toes. All the way through the entire body, growing through the hands, placing the hands together and drawing the arms up as high as you can go. Stay here, breathe the body. Place the fingertips together and widen the fingers. Place the palms together, bring the fingers back. Allow the hands to come to meet the chest and prayer, release the feet. Thumbs to sternum, breathe the body, let the fingers relax, and just let the tips of the fingers meet one another, breathe. The hands are relaxed, the body's relaxed. Inhale, breathe, all the way, toes to fingers, push through the palms, fingers nice and tight together this time, grow through the body and lengthen one arm at a time, one leg at a time, this time nice and long, as long as you can go, feel that body grow, inches and inches on each side. Taking the breath with you, slightly deeper than normal. Interlace the fingers, turn the hands inside out and flex the feet. Release the tension that you may be holding through your knees and just allow the ankles and the heels to be flattened to the ground. Undo the interlaced fingers, relax the arms, now relax the feet. Keeping the eyes shut if you're comfortable in doing so, just concentrating on the breath. Draw your right arm down by the side of the body as you inhale. Exhale, completely relax that right arm. The left arm is up above the head and completely relaxed also. Legs, knees, 
Nice ankles, toes, completely relaxed. Inhale, lengthen the right arm. Bring it down by the side of the body. When the palm reaches the ground, allow yourself to exhale and release the tension through the shoulders. Bring your right arm over to the left shoulder. Left arm over to the right shoulder. And just slowly push the arms down as you breathe. So drawing the shoulders away from the body. Slowly moving side to side. We're just trying to slowly open some space as we stretch and move the body. Inhale, take the arms down by the side. Slowly bring your right foot up by your bottom. Place the foot into the ground. Right foot into the ground. Bring the other foot up. Palms are earth. Feet are earth. Feel the feet on the ground. Draw chin to chest slightly, line the back, the neck with the spine. Again, slowly, lengthening one shoulder down at a time, lifting the other as the other one lengthens. We're going to slowly draw ourselves into Kormuktasana, wind releasing pose. So take a nice deep breath in. When you're ready to exhale, draw the knees into chest. Rock the body from side to side. Hands over the knees and rotate the knees. Bring the breath with you. Scan the body, how do you feel? We're only here in the now. No thoughts other than us. Breathing the body. Being aware. Bring the legs back the other way. Nourishing the system as you're slowly rotating those legs into the tummy. Massaging the internal organs. Rebuilding cells. Helping our immune system. This time draw the legs to the chest as tight as possible, hands over knees or just underneath. Draw your head up to meet the knees, taking your breathe the body. Feel the spine lengthening, feel the neck lengthening. Breathe the body. Slowly release the head down. Place the hands back into the ground, this time slightly under the bottom. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Find your focus. Breathe the body and adjust the head as we have a nice silent spine and neck. Taking the other leg up. Inhale, the left leg up. Nice and long, as long as you can. Forward and backwards with the foot. Feeling 
beautiful life in each other. Just rotating. the other one back up. Rotate the ankle. Bring it back the other way. And put it back down. And take the other one back up. And we'll do the legs. Taking both feet up. system. Building your immune system. Slowly draw knees back into chest. And slowly bring the feet back down a little wider than hip width apart. Feel the grounding of the feet. Take the hands out from under the bottom, touching the ankles if you can reach. Spread the toes. Feel the foot completely flat into the ground. We're earthing, we're anchoring. We're going to slowly draw ourselves up into a bridge pose with the inhalation. And as we come down, we'll come down vertically. Feeling the hands against the ankles if you can reach. Slowly drawing ourselves up off the ground. Feeling a beautiful grounding through the feet. All four corners, the heels, toes, touching. Breathe the body here. Slowly make your way down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Nice and slow. Feel the strength in the body getting you up. Feel the ease at the same time. Inhale, planting the hands into the ground, feet into the ground, bring yourself up as far as you feel comfortable. If you want to, you can adjust those shoulders to come a little further in to meet one another, the shoulder blades will come in. You can interlace the fingers and draw the arms nice and long to the ground, lifting the chest, breathing the body. Feeling the weight of the body through the feet. The thighs are lengthening, the arms are strong. Breathe the body. Slowly release if you're holding the hands, just the shoulders, and slowly bring yourself down vertebrae by vertebrae from the top, the center, the base. Draw the legs into chest. Rock from side to side. Allow the hands to come out to the side of the body. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, Release and relax the legs. You may feel comfortable in placing a pillow under the legs. I'll leave that up to you. If you're comfortable here and the back feels okay, continue here. Turn the head the opposite way. 
and breathe the body. Take the breath slightly deeper than normal and with the exhalation feel the release in the shoulders. Feel that release travel throughout the whole system. Relax the arms, relax the toes, ankles and allow the body to open up. Let the cells talk to one another, let the breath do the guiding. Inhale, legs back to center. Draw head back to center. On your next exhalation, allow the legs to fall to the other side. Again, using a pillow for support or a bolster if needed. Otherwise, listen to the body. What is it telling you? Never should you be in pain. Yoga is not about pain. If you're feeling a slight discomfort somewhere, concentrate on the area and breathe the body. The breath will do the work for you. together, the bound pose, hold those feet if it's possible for you to do so, push the hips away from the body, breathe the body, inhale up, envision yourself looking all the way through and past those feet. Take a nice big deep breath. Feel the base of the feet planted together. The hips are breathing. Slowly release. Relax the head. Bring the legs back in together. Rock the body from side to side. We're now going to bring ourselves up into a seated posture. Slowly bring the arms down to the ground. We're going to rock the body if you're comfortable in doing so. Bring yourself into a seated position. If not, roll to the right side of the body and push yourself up. Stay here. Take the arms around the legs. And move shoulders forward and backward. As you do this, lengthen the head, so drop the neck. Slowly make the arms walk down to meet the feet. To try and get a little bit more length, bring yourself up, inhale. Lift up out of the belly. Lengthen the spine, bring yourself the chest forward as you exhale and come across again, slowly moving forward, one shoulder at a time, walking your way down. Hold the toes if you can reach the toes, drop the head in between the knees and just lift the toes one by one, allowing every stretch to stretch that shoulder blade and allow the back to open up. Feel that back lengthening. Place the feet on the ground, toes on the ground. Walk the hands behind. If you can, place the hands toward the body. Bring the shoulder blades back. Lift up out of the 
chest. Slight rock forward and backward. Don't lift the neck too high. Keep the eyes slightly closed. Just feel the body breathe. Walk the hands back in. And back over to the toes. This time we're going to lengthen the toes. So I'll move back and show you. When I say lengthen, I mean lengthen the legs so that the toes are further away. Lift up through the spine, nice and long. Allow the chest to meet the knees if that's comfortable. Walk the hands down the body with the breath. Reach for your toes. Hold the toes nice and tight. We've got beautiful acupressure points in the toes to give the body beautiful, beautiful stimulation. Again, lifting up and lengthening. Allow the head to fall forward, relax the neck. Feel the back opening up, the shoulder blades opening up, the lengthening of the shoulder and the back. As you push nice and tight into those toes, take the breath with you every moment of the way. Again, lengthen the feet back onto the ground. Feel everything that's happening. Bring the arms back, walk the hands back. This time, take the hands the other way. Draw the shoulder blades back together. You'll be able to feel a much further expansion in the chest as you sink back into those arms that are nice and long. Lift up out of the chest. Lengthen the head only as far as you feel comfortable. Allowing our passage, our airways to open up and just again a little rock from side to side just where you feel comfortable. Supporting yourself, allowing that head to relax, the neck to lengthen, the chest to expand, the heart to open, the lungs to expand. Really pushing those shoulder blades back together, massaging the top of our back and giving our back, our lower back, a slight massage as we slightly bend in through the lumbar. In order to bring yourself forward, allow the body to relax. Don't lift the head directly. Let the body sink back. Let the bottom come back. Relax the hands. The body will bring the head forward. Absolutely no stress or tension on the neck. Take the hands over the legs. Draw belly to spine, chin to chest. Feel the lengthening of that spine and the neck. Lengthening through side to side, opening up the back again. Bring the hands back, open your chest, feel the expansion, drop the head back, draw the shoulder blades in, breathe the body, take nice deep breaths. to move. Feel the internal rhythm of the body, the vibration. Drawing belly to spine as we slowly roll back. Allowing that head to come with the shoulders as the shoulders roll forward. No tension, nothing. The body is doing the work. Breathe the body, let it do its job. Lengthening one arm at a time, draw belly to spine, chin to chest. Have the 
feet to the side of the body and bring ourselves into Vajrasana. Allow the hands to come out to the side of the body. Inhale, bring yourselves up. Join the palms together and look all the way through wide fingers. Exhale, bring the fingers together, palms together, push down through to heart center. Thumbs to sternum, breathe the body. Take the hands wide, breathe. Inhale, draw yourselves up. Looking all the way up, thumbs back to sternum, pushing the hands together. Slowly open the legs to your width apart. You can open your eyes here, or you can keep them shut. We're going to place the thumbs into our back. I'm going to turn around and show you. Just at the base of the spine here, we have two dimpled areas. And just in those dimpled areas, we're going to place the fingers. Going to allow the hands to relax, really massage and push in here. And then push the hips forward and slightly get a lengthen of the spine as we come back into a slight arch. Be very careful, listen to the body. There's no competition here, it is just about a slight stretch and pushing of those points. Push the hips forward and stay here, breathe the body. Give a slight massage in those areas. Only coming to where you're comfortable. Relax, come back into Vajrasana. And now, bring yourself into child pose. Rock the body from side to side. Bring the self up into tabletop. Inhale, drop the body, bottom to the ceiling, head to the ceiling and eyes to third eye. Exhale, rotate everything. Draw our back up to the ceiling. Allow the belly to come to spine, chin to chest. And then slowly push back. Look at the knees to get a beautiful stretch through the shoulders and the lap. Come back into tabletop. Inhale, dip the back, bottom to ceiling, close the eyes and envision yourself looking through the third eye. Exhale, bring it back the other way. Lengthen, push yourself back. And just rock a little from side to side. Feel the shoulders lengthening with the back. Come back into tabletop. Inhale. Inhale, looking through the third eye, exhale, rotate, draw belly to spine, chin to chest, lengthen back, and slowly, if you're comfortable, slight rotation in the back, Feel everything open up and loosen up. Bring it back the other way. Listen to the body, go with how it feels. The last pose we'll do today is thread the needle. We're going to allow the right arm to come through the body. Rest the shoulder on the ground, rest the head. Beautiful massage through the kidneys, the internal organs. Allow the hand to stretch above the head. Widen the fingers. Breathe the body. Supporting, pushing the body up, releasing. 
Come back into cat cow. Inhale up. Exhale down. Draw belly to spine, chin to chest. Come back into tabletop. Thread the needle other side. Nice long lengthened arm. Take the arm over the top. Bring the hand back down for support, lifting the body back up. Coming into a seated pose. We will just do one twist. Allow one hand to come to the opposite side of the knee. If you're comfortable inhaling up, getting a beautiful stretch to open up through the abdominal. And then extend that hand behind. Exhale, look around. Beautiful spinal twist and massage through the internal organs. Also opening up heart center. Slowly bring yourself back. Walk the body forward. body just to stay upright a little bit. Opening through the chest, allowing the energy to flow through. Just allowing the bloke and congestion that may have been built up to slowly ease its way out of the way. Lower arm to leg, lifting up. And breathe behind and twisting back. Breathe the body. Yourselves around, bring yourself forward onto the elbow. Just feel the nice lengthening through the base of the spine. So it's from the coccyx all the way up, and again, just a little massage through the hips. Feel the release. Change the legs over, and we'll do this one more time. Bring the hand over, lengthen up. Exhale back. Open up through the tummy. Try and get as much length between the base through the torso so that you can lift up and turn around. Breathing the body and allowing the internal organs to completely ring out. Bring yourself back around. Walk the body forward. This time rounding through the back, allowing the head to relax down to the floor. Breathe the body. Bring the belly back up. Opposite hand to knee. Inhale up. Exhale back. Turn and twist the body around. Nice deep breaths. Bring yourself back around. Finishing with the way that we started, lengthening the feet, bringing them a little further out the abdomen. Bring the arms over, lift the toes, and allow the body to extend. Drop the head. Squeeze the toes. Bring yourselves back down. Just to finish with what I'd like to do is just give you a couple of points just for the back. Um, to massage through the shoulders. So if I turn around, just over 
the back here. Flick up our hands and push into the back. Move the fingers along and see if you've got any tender areas. If you do, just cupping and drawing the hands down. So cup, draw the elbows down to the ground so that you've got a nice hook. So I'll show you that again from this angle. Cup and draw the elbows down. So you're hooked up underneath. Hold the pressure point. Move the body slightly. Breathe the body with every breath that you take. You're here helping yourself heal. This is fabulous for colds and coughs. Fantastic for the liver. Allow the body to be nice and tall. Take some time to breathe. From here, use my yoga nidra. Meditation voice over so that you can bring yourself into Shavasana and go into a beautiful state of relaxation. Namaste.